based on my own experience. When I was 12 years old, I have got a very serious food poisoning because of a leftover meat bug. And I vomited for several days and had a very serious stomachache. Stomach and uh, I even got to the hospital for more than one week. Uh, that's a very horrible, horrible experience. So I hope all of you to be aware of uh, our daily life when we uh, seek idea of food combined and be aware of what we eat in our daily life. Now, today I will discuss my topic into three different aspects. First, I will identify um, the, uh, the daily to toxic food. And the ex second, I will explain why there is a high risk of food poisoning in China. And third, I will suggest some solutions. Now, when we think of delicious food, we may, maybe we will, we should better to uh, consider whether those should be combined or not. So, what can cause food poisoning? Um, I uh, I discuss it in two different ways. First, let's see those two examples. A mixture of tomato and lasciasis uh, and the consignments will cause a lasciasis. And a mixture of tofu and honey will cause your deafness. And uh, in our in general food like meat product, sea product, and the uh, uh, dairy products like cheese and milk, they have a higher risk, risk of food poisoning because and we need more uh, more careful control over those hygiene than the other foods because they are uh, because of the because of the activities of those tiny creatures, they are, have a more higher risk to have a food poisoning. Now let's move to my second main point. Why is the risk of Food poisoning is so high in China. Most of Chinese, uh, most of Chinese are uh, a little conscious of when the food is made, but they care more about uh, not wasting food. It's a kind of traditional thought about China, uh, Chinese people, and uh, like our grandma, they are more likely to preserve food and uh, uh, to cook it again and again. And uh, most people, families cook their dishes again again and when they fit until they finish it uh, because uh, especially in rural areas because people who live in rural areas they have a more uh, they have more they are more conscious they have they live in a, in a living condition of rural people are not good so that they cook the dishes uh, until they finish it because they have no no choice to waste so here comes a problem. How could China solve this problem? I look for two different parties to solve the problem. Uh, as for the food administration, they should strengthen the supervision of the restaurants. And as for the media, they should uh, strengthen the propaganda to let every know, every people know about the food poisoning. In in 2017, the uh, the uh, the the food administration in Zhejiang province have uh, suggested some, um, have uh, uh, has strengthened the, the legislation, the law enforcement supervision, and has strengthened the, the construction of basic food, uh, basic food facilities. And the media in in 2016, the media in Zhejiang province have uh, reported a, a series of uh, a series of food that should not be preserved. Well, five minutes is running up soon. Today I have discussed about uh, being familiar with which daily food uh, should not be combined, combined in order to keep our healthy. First, I have discussed about how to introduce some food that should not be combined. And second, I have explained why there is a high risk of food in China. And finally, I have uh, mentioned some suggestions to optimize uh, the situation of food poisoning in China. I hope all of you to be considered about food combining in our daily life. And uh, I wish, most importantly, I wish you can uh, share this opinion with your family and uh, increase your uh, increase your awareness of food safety. Then those are my references. Thank you for listening.